Welcome to Neo Space. Imagine sending a message in a bottle across a cosmic ocean, one that's traveled farther than anything humans have ever built. This is Voyager 1, a symbol of our curiosity and drive to explore. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 became our silent ambassador to the galaxy. Today, it sails through interstellar space, still sending faint whispers of data from billions of miles away. Voyager carries our hopes, music, and greetings into the vast emptiness of the galaxy. Its journey is a testament to the human spirit. The Voyager missions began with a rare planetary alignment, an event that happens only once every 176 years. In the late 1970s, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune lined up on the same side of the Sun. This let a spacecraft use gravity assists, getting free boosts to travel farther and faster. NASA built two identical spacecraft, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, for this grand tour. In 1977, the twin explorers launched, beginning a journey that would redefine our understanding of the solar system. It all began with a once-in-a-lifetime planetary alignment. Voyager 1's first stop was Jupiter, the king of planets. In 1979, it sent back breathtaking images, revealing Jupiter's turbulent atmosphere and the massive Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth. Voyager discovered Jupiter's faint rings and showed us a dynamic, complex world. The real surprises came from its moons. Io, the most volcanically active body in the solar system, with eruptions blasting material hundreds of kilometers into space. Before Voyager, we thought only Earth had active volcanoes. Io changed that forever. Europa, another moon, revealed a smooth, icy surface with cracks hinting at a hidden ocean beneath, raising the possibility of life. These discoveries transformed Europa into one of the most intriguing places to search for life beyond Earth. Voyager 1 didn't just take pictures, it opened new frontiers for exploration and science. After Jupiter, Voyager used the planet's gravity to slingshot towards Saturn. In just months, Voyager revealed more about Jupiter and its moons than centuries of Earth-based observation. It showed us volcanic worlds, potential oceans, and the complex beauty of a gas giant's atmosphere. The mission had already changed our map of the cosmos. Voyager 1 was a robotic explorer, rewriting what we knew about our solar system. The journey was just beginning, but the impact was already profound. One planet at a time, Voyager was changing our place in the universe. In 1980, Voyager 1 reached Saturn, unveiling the true complexity of its rings. Thousands of ringlets, dynamic spokes, and shepherd moons shaping their structure. The rings weren't static, they were alive with motion and history. Voyager's main target was Titan, Saturn's largest moon, shrouded in a thick orange haze. Its instruments revealed Titan's dense, nitrogen-rich atmosphere and detected hydrocarbons, the building blocks of life. Titan became a frozen time capsule, a glimpse of early Earth. While Voyager 1 moved on, Voyager 2 continued the grand tour, visiting Uranus and Neptune. Uranus tipped on its side, revealed new moons, rings, and a bizarre off-center magnetic field. Neptune, cold and distant, surprised scientists with giant storms, the fastest winds in the solar system, and clumpy, incomplete rings. Together, the Voyagers painted a vivid picture of the outer solar system, dynamic, diverse, and stranger than we ever imagined. Each planet revealed new mysteries and challenged old assumptions. The outer worlds were no longer distant dots, but living, evolving places. Voyager's discoveries inspired a new era of exploration. The solar system was far more alive than we'd ever dreamed. Voyager's survival is a marvel of 1970s engineering. Each probe is powered by a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, using the heat from decaying plutonium to generate electricity. At launch, the RTGs produced enough power for a few light bulbs. Now, decades later, power is precious and carefully rationed. Communicating with Voyager 1, over 15 billion miles away, is a feat. Signals take over 22 hours to reach it and are billions of times weaker than a watch battery. NASA's Deep Space Network, with giant antennas around the globe, listens for these faint whispers from interstellar space. Voyager's computers have just 69 kilobytes of memory, less than a single smartphone photo. Yet engineers have kept the mission alive with clever software updates sent across the void. The spacecraft's endurance is a tribute to both its original design and the dedication of the team on Earth. Every day, 
Voyager proves that even old technology can achieve the extraordinary. It's a story of ingenuity, persistence, and the will to explore. Voyager's journey continues, powered by the last sparks of its ancient heart. For decades, Voyager 1 raced toward the edge of our solar system, aiming for the heliopause, the true border between our sun's influence and interstellar space. In 2012, its instruments detected a dramatic shift. Solar particles vanished, cosmic rays surged, and Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. This crossing was a historic milestone, like the first steps on the moon. Voyager's data revealed surprises. The sun's magnetic field piled up in unexpected ways and the plasma beyond was much denser than predicted. The probe even heard the vibrations of interstellar plasma letting scientists measure the density of space between the stars. These discoveries are our first direct measurements of the interstellar medium, a new ocean for humanity to explore. Voyager 1 is not just a tourist, it's a scientist, conducting experiments billions of miles from home. Its findings are reshaping our understanding of the galaxy and our place within it. The data helps us learn how stars interact with their surroundings. Voyager's journey into interstellar space is a triumph of exploration. It's a new chapter in humanity's quest to understand the cosmos. Attached to both Voyagers is a golden record, a time capsule greeting to any intelligent life that might find it. Created by Carl Sagan and a team of experts, the record tells the story of humanity in images, sounds, greetings, and music. It holds 115 images of life on Earth, from cities to DNA, and sounds like wind, rain, and a baby's cry. Greetings in 55 languages say hello from across time and cultures. The record's music spans Bach to Chuck Berry, traditional songs from around the world, and more, showcasing the range of human emotion and creativity. The Golden Record is a message of hope, not just for aliens, but for us, a reminder of who we are and what we value. The odds of it being found are tiny, but that's not the point. Creating the record made us reflect on our place in the universe. It says, we were here, we were alive, we were curious. Voyager carries this message into the endless night, a testament to our desire to be remembered. The golden record is humanity's greeting card to the cosmos. It's a symbol of hope, unity, and the dream of connection, and it will travel the stars long after we are gone. The legacy of the Voyager missions is profound. They transform fuzzy dots into real worlds filled with storms, volcanoes, and hidden oceans. Voyager inspired new generations of scientists and paved the way for missions like Galileo and Cassini. Our understanding of the solar system is now divided into two eras, before Voyager and after. As Voyager 1's power fades, its instruments are being shut down, one by one. Soon, it will fall silent, unable to send signals home, but its journey won't end. It will drift through the Milky Way for millions of years, a silent ambassador of Earth. Voyager carries our greetings, music, and story on its golden record. It's a relic of a species that dared to explore the unknown. Voyager's journey is ultimately about us. Our hope, perseverance, and curiosity. It reminds us how vast the universe is and how big our dreams can be. Even as a tiny piece of Earth, Voyager travels where we can only imagine. It's more than a machine. It's an idea. Voyager proves that even a small planet can send a message into the endless night, and that message is, we reached for the stars.